Hey y'all, thank you for checking out this video. Today I want to cover how to patch almost anything. And while I'm only going to show how to patch a jacket, a pad, and a fly today, these principles can be used for almost anything. So without further ado, let's just get into it. The first thing we're going to work on is a puffy jacket. While this one is synthetic, it would work for a down jacket or a sleeping bag or anything similar to that. This one wasn't quite necessary since it is synthetic, so it's not losing feathers like a down garment would, but you can see the prima loft starting to come out of it. The first step will be to clean up around the hole. Like any extra torn fabric, or in this case the prima loft poking out, you will want to trim that up. Next you will want to clean the area, removing any dirt or oil that will stop the patch from sticking as well as it should. I am using rubbing alcohol. After the area is clean, you need to wait until it's completely dry. Now that it is dry, you will want to grab your patch that you will be using. In this case, I will be using tenacious tape. Next, you'll want to cut your patch, allowing for plenty of coverage of the hole. You will want to round the corners, which will prevent the patch from potentially peeling off. After the patch is cut, the only thing left to do is to peel off the backing and place the patch on the hole, pressing firmly to guarantee a secure fit. The next thing we are going to work on is a fly, which will be the same techniques used for a rain jacket, a tent body, or anything like those. This fly is made out of Dyneema, but the same techniques are used for a nylon fly the only difference will be the patch that we will use. First off, find the hole that you will want to repair. All the steps are about the same as before, so once again you are going to clean the area and let it dry. Next we'll cut our patch to size and round the edges. In this case, it's a Dyneema patch, which will adhere excellently to the Dyneema fabric. If your fly is nylon or polyester, you will want to use tenacious tape again, or something similar. This time around, it's helpful to have an extra pair of hands to help smooth the fabric, ensuring for no wrinkles or creases, making for a better seal once the patch is placed. Once again, place the patch and press firmly all around. This time, unlike the puffy, we are going to flip it over and place another patch on the underside. This creates greater durability and covers the stickiness from the other patch. Just repeat the steps as done before and you are finished. Our third and final item is going to be a sleeping pad. Holes in pads can sometimes be difficult to find. I have found it best to fill up a bathtub and submerge the pad. Once the pad is submerged, you should be able to see air bubbles come out of it. A pool or a lake could also be used. After the hole is found, mark it with a sharpier pen so that you do not lose it during the following steps. Next, dry off the pad completely and then clean it with alcohol. Most pads come with a patch kit, but if not, just use tenacious tape again. Now just place the patch, press firmly, and then you're done. Hopefully you'll never have to use this information, but if you do, you'll have it. One of the things that I found that is really helpful in preventing holes in the first place that need to be patched is while setting up camp, laying out your footprint or ground cloth, and then laying on it. You know, big rocks and sticks are easy to see to move out of the way, but by laying on it, you'll get to feel around for any sharp items that might not be visible and be able to move them out of the way so that in the middle of the night, your pad or the floor of your tent doesn't get a hole in it that will need to be patched later on. 
Let me know in the comments below if I forgot anything or if you have any tips on preventing holes in the first place. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything from it, give it a like. If you want to make sure you don't miss the next one, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.